Well, get this. Shopping online can sometimes be as risky as playing a game of Russian roulette. Come on, baby. James Hillard is a straight shooter. A Vietnam veteran, he served 32 years in the Marine Corps as a sniper. Today, he calls himself a gun enthusiast. I shoot anything. Muzzle loaders, AR-15, fully automatic. I shoot anything. Earlier this year, he wanted to add one of these to his collection, an AR-15. So this is it. This is it. It's uh, something like we carried in Vietnam. He found one online at a site called USA Ammo and pulled the trigger. He ordered the gun for $900, but the gun never showed up. In February, no gun. No gun. In March, no gun. No gun. In April, no gun. No gun. May, no gun. After six months, he tried to cancel the order, but the company refused faster than a speeding bullet. I've been ripped off. Restitution seemed like a real shot in the dark because the Texas-based company disconnected its phone lines and took down its website right after we put them in our crosshairs. I had several conversations with them by phone, but okay. each time was told they couldn't talk to me about James's situation. They also added I wasn't the only reporter to call them. In fact, our sister station in Houston went to their offices to get answers for James and others. They confronted owner Robert Dunlap, but got nothing. And it turns out many USA Ammo customers nationwide got the same exact thing, nothing. At least 32 complaints have been filed with the BBB against the company, most for not getting what they paid for. This is what it's all about. Refusing to give up on his dream of owning an AR-15, James bought one from another website for even more money, $1,200. But he's finally got his gun. See? And he says he's learned a valuable lesson. He's not bulletproof. He can be taken down by a bad business, but he vows it won't ever happen again. Like being a sniper, some days you're really good and some days you get shot. So how can you make sure an online company doesn't rip you off? Well, James did everything right. He tested them out with small purchases before making a big one, and it still backfired. But knowing the law can actually help. According to FTC rules, a company has 30 days to ship products. If they can't, they're supposed to notify you and give you the option of canceling. Had James contacted me much earlier, we might have been able to use that rule to get him a full credit card refund. So act quickly and know your rights. And remember, we're on your side. So when you're in trouble, give us a call. With 8 on your side, I'm Michelle Mortensen.